All right, welcome back. Joining us now is the gadget guy, Johnny Five, and you have something so I don't know how to describe it. It's almost it's unreal, actually. It's a it's a robot dinosaur, but it's not just any robot. Right? Yeah, it's called Pleo from Ugobi, and not only is it a robot and a dinosaur, but he, it's it's a pet. Um, and when I got this, I was skeptical that I'd see it to be any more than just a machine. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, the first time I stopped paying attention to him, and he started cooing at me and trying to get my attention. He does, yeah. I, I realized, you know, this is something with a personality and a personality that grows. And since you've been here, we've all kind of been playing with this guy and petting him, and I'm, like, interacting, I'm talking to it, and I'm like... <laughs> and it's weird, because it's, it's so lifelike. It really is. You know, I, I felt kind of silly interacting with him as much as I was, and I took him to work. I work with 10 other IT professional <laughs> guys, primarily, and they were all doing the same thing, you know, yeah. petting him. How you doing, little man? So I, I realized that this thing really achieves what you go be attempted to do, and that's make a pet, make something with personality. He actually will... I'm trying to get him to bite on this, because he actually will do it. I'm going to call him Little Fit from Land Before the Time. That's what <laughs> I've named him. So some, some, let's talk about some of the neat features. Sure. Uh, personalities. Uh, on the bottom of this guy, he might get mad at me for lifting him up, but we'll do it anyway. Um, he's actually got a USB port. Mm -hmm. He's got a spot for a secure digital card, same thing that your camera would use. He is. He's got, yeah, just got mad at he's you. He's getting a little upset. Yeah. He doesn't like to be upside down. <laughs> so with those slots, you Sorry. can actually update uh, personalities like there's a T-Rex profile you can put in, and he actually gets mean, <laughs> which you can't picture, but he does. And uh, this is the, what profile is he This is just right standard now? Pleo, right? Okay, here. This is friendly, Pleo. good old Pleo that the kids would like. And now we were talking about it, it, whether or not this would be, because it is a little bit more of an adult right. feature, but would it be good for a kid? You know, they recommend eight and older, but mm -hmm. i got to tell you, my two-year-old absolutely loved him. And she was gentle with him. I think what they're worried about is that kids are going to grab him and right. strip some motors or something. Because there are 35 motors, excuse me, 14 motors, 35 <laughs> sensors in this guy. So there's some stuff that's a little bit fragile. And um, we were talking about, too, that maybe if, you, if, you're, if your child wants to get a pet, this might be a good way to try it out. Might be a good Again, way to start. Again, it is a little pricey. Yeah, $350. Okay. Um, but you know what? For everything they've packed in here with processors and chips and sensors, I don't see how they could do it any cheaper right now. Three fifty, I think, is very reasonable for Pleo. And I don't know if you guys can tell us at home, but he actually res he responds to you. Like mm -hmm. if you're petting him, like right now I'm scratching him under his chin. He's wagging his tail, and he he is like he's cooing. Yeah, he absolutely. He sits. He er during earlier he was trying to fall asleep, and we were like, you can't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, who makes this, and where can you get them? This guy's by Ugobi. You can go online, just search for Pleo, or hit our website later on. We'll have the link up there as well, and uh, feel free to. I'd say no risk involved, he's great. All right, thank you so much. Uh -huh. We're going to be right back with a quick cast.